just flew in the nest. Let's see what we got for a feeding here. They're both in there now. Little guys, their heads are up. And off we go. Breakfast has been delivered, so there we go. Six twenty six in the morning. Time for our little red tails to have some breakfast. Oh yeah, stretching the wing out, you can see the black primary there. Today they're four weeks old. We're all excited about it. for their breakfast. When I got up early and came down and got all set up because they like to feed them in the morning because they slept all night without any food. Let's see what they got here. Anyway, she's in there with them now and they're starting to wake up. Both in there. I thought we had some food, so maybe he just flew in to check on them and then she sailed in. Well, that's interesting. We'll keep an eye on the situation and see what happens here. Little guys are stretching up. If there was food, they'd be right there. She'd be getting it ready. That may have been the case. He flew in to check up on him, and then she sailed in there to see if he had any food. So here we are. If there's food, they'll start eating. But it doesn't look like it. They're usually quite active. And it's still early. birds waking up too, the robins are singing, they're all carrying a little guys are down for the count, so it looks like just have a little babysitting here, looking as much cottonwood blowing yet, but yesterday it was all over the place, it looked like a snowstorm. The cottonwood trees are seeding out and it looks like a flurry of snow. Okay, little guys are comfortable, 50 some degrees, they're all smuggled together again and you just stand and guard. There I see the leaves blowing now. The breeze is going to pick up. We'll have a little uh, cottonwood snowstorm here pretty soon. That's our red tail nest. 350 South 38th Court, Brenton, Washington. Right up by the Valley Medical Center. And this is in the dry run area they call Panther Creek. And there's a lot of other birds here too nesting. We have dead trees, we got flickers and woodpeckers. We got stellar jays in there. 
Now we got two pairs of Bullock Orioles nesting in here. All kinds of robins and house finches, towhees. They're all here. But the main attraction is our red tail nest. So when we're waiting for action, we get to watch all the other birds too. Yeah, goldfinches show up here too. All right, see what she's gonna do here. Only like 50 degrees. So they just uh. Male must have flown in, like I said, and checked up on him, and she came in to see if he had food, and here we are. She's keeping an eye on him, standing in the nest, waiting for him to come back with some breakfast. All right, then. Well, I think we can call that pretty much good. We'll wait till we get a little more action in.